Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Galactic Catch Overview. Something family friendly for us in a while on the store. Disappeared recently, maybe like one week ago out of nowhere. I didn't hear any news, no trailers, no nothing before about it. And the stuff that they produced before I didn't see before either. So it's kind of like a fresh entry, but not really apparently. <laughs> Who knows? So Galactic Catch is an adventurish fishing simulator where we're on a mission as a trusted robot to save your friends Mac and Chess, catch some crazy alien fish alongside and create your ultimate aquarium collection. We've had fishing stuff in the past, though nothing really job simulator-ish on that level like here. There's no even point to compare it to other else, much like in real fishing VR, like it's not the same caliber of development. This game will most likely be for like kids or just any other person that wants to chill and not take it seriously. The environments look pretty interesting like it's some sort of a alienish cosmos style it's also worth noting that even the trailer has frame drops so i don't even know what's gonna be happening in the gameplay like if it was that bad shooting the clip then i don't know if there's a lot of hope for the actual game it's very simplistic you catch fishes with arcade mechanics i'm assuming modify your rods and reels with some power-ups put fishes in a bigger tank and that's pretty much it like i won't have a lot of opinions of the actual thing because it's just not my anything really, not really any interest to play it. Though we'll see with the performance and the mechanics, like if everything's in place, then kudos to that and let's catch some alien fishes. <laughs> Attempting to conquer the galaxy is difficult, challenging work. And even the most cunning of conquerors needs a vacation once in a while. And there's no better place in all the universe to take a break. Far away from rogue asteroids and vicious fluffy bunnies, than the uninhabited paradise of Paradisi, where our would-be galactic heroes can let down their guard and just, well, let loose. I didn't know there was a storyline. Though perhaps they should let loose a little less. Uh oh too late. It seems that your friends are now fish food. I'm sorry for your loss. But wait, there's hope. Because, conveniently for us, a famous fishing expert has been tracking this same leviathan. And lucky for you, she knows the mythical monster can be caught using a legendary lure, which only the most skilled alien anglers can earn, if they are brave enough. Well, thankfully, our unlucky duo have you, their brave and trusty robot, to bail them out yet again. Well, let's show them how it's done, robo-angler. Go catch that fish. Cool. My name is Planetarius Oceanic Professional Model 1919, but you can call me Pop. I'll need to teach you the basics of galactic catch fishing so you can catch the creature that swallowed your friends. Point your controller towards your rod and press the trigger button to pick it up. Your fish finder is showing there's a fish right in front of us. Let's try to catch it. Hold down the trigger button while swinging your rod towards the fish then quickly release the trigger button to cast. The harder you swing, the farther the lure will go. It really seems like a job simulator, well, vacation simulator of fishing stuff. What's interesting is that the 360 is pretty cool. The environment here could be better, but it's not the worst. The models and such are polished so <laughs> there's like a discrepancy between the layers here to reel in your lure hold down the trigger button on your second controller and move it in a circular motion close to the rod fish won't bite floating lures while you're reeling so only reel in when you need to get closer to a fish and then wait for it to take the bait keep trying until you get a fish to bite but I appreciate that there's voice acting, there's like, there's some polish going on. But that's cool here, like it's a futuristic fishing rod. An arrow will appear once the fish takes the bait. When it does, quickly pull up your rod to where you hooked a fish. Let's reel it in. The meter and color of the fishing line will indicate the tension. Reeling increases the tension, and not reeling reduces it. 
keep the tension between the blue and red zones to prevent your fish from getting away. At least there's a tutorial how actually fishing works. Ooh, you got a feisty one. When a fish tries to stay away, tilt your rod in the direction of the arrow to stop the fish from running. If the fish jumps out of the water, quickly swing your rod in the direction of the arrow to prevent it from getting away. If a fish gets stunned, reel in quickly before they recover. An arrow will appear once the fish is close to you. When it does, go! You just caught your first fish. Use your trigger button to collect resources. Resources are used to craft new items. Okay, but I don't know if uh, in real fishing VR, I'm comparing because there's nothing else really. There was like a tutorial that explained you the mechanics. Like sometimes I would just confuse what I was doing here. It's pretty much explanatory. Your neural network now contains all of my fishing algorithms to help you catch fish. Catch more fish to gain energy to charge up your rod powers. You unlocked a fully charged power reel, which will increase your reeling power when activated by pressing the B or Y button on your rod hand controller. Complete more missions to earn additional rewards and unlock new locations so you can rescue your friends. So that should be it, like... You just fish for more upgrades than progress, craft items, like... It's an arcade in that scenario, but... Like it works very well. <laughs> that was not the movement. I need to like do up or like wait for the full bite. Okay, so that was like a power up. Do we have like a menu or something? Because there are missions. Wow, you caught your second fish. Your fish finder shows you the size of the fish and its lure preference. Green means the fish is highly attracted to it. Red means it doesn't like it. You can move your rod hand thumbstick left or right to switch through your lures to find the best one to use. Interesting. The beach is standing. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's not something that I would play constantly, but like, I don't know if it's necessary for like kids and all. So, what if we change the gear? Best for large fish, good for various fish. There we go. Fighting. Come here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I have a new lure and something to craft, maybe? Oh, you caught a rare 
fun. You also unlocked a new swimming lure that's great for catching one-eyed fish. You can move your rod hand thumbstick up to change between using floating or swimming lures. Swimming lures need to be moving to attract a fish. Try to slowly reel or twitch your lure near the fish to get its attention. It's a little tricky at first, so it might take practice. But the fish. Wait, what the? Is this lure alive or something? I mean, we can't even stop here. I see what's going on and for the price point and the quality you get like this is completely fine so I need to move it <laughs> I feel like it's a specific taste of the lures like I much rather would have the one that doesn't move. And also you need patience for games like that, which I don't have much. Robots usually are. I installed a new aquarium on your ship so we could better study fish. Whenever you're ready, you can access it by opening your fish pad by pressing either the A or X button and then select a ship icon. While you're back on the ship, I'll stay here to look for more clues. We have also some upgrades to boost the catching crates, decorations. There's some stuff going on, <laughs> but what about the ship? I mean, there's no smooth lock on and stuff. That's everything. That was fish-tastic! You'll have your aquarium filled in... <laughs> With one fish? <laughs> Do we actually have smooth locker? Not really. I mean, not at all. <laughs> it seems like the far away environments are looking good. The things behind you... I mean, actually, this whole place is a little bit better than the previous one. But yeah, pretty much if you are a fishing enthusiast, like, this seems to be a game for you. Maybe not really for me, but like, I appreciate the content, because there are some definitely cool stuff going on, like, it's easy to understand. The mechanics, the crafting, the lures, you can have your personal collection. I don't know necessarily what's the goal of the game, I mean, the storyline kind of said that we are out there to catch this big thing but yeah like you unlock stuff you fish more that's the gameplay for what it is i appreciate it <laughs> it just means it's good like <laughs> 